Whoa, how y'all doing out there? It's your man, Nico B. And this is The Black Effect. Hit that subscribe button, man. You know what I'm saying? If you say you support black businesses, if you like this programming, man, if you, you know, like real messages, you know, if you, uh, you know, got a son, you know, uh, uh, you know, anybody who need to hear, you know what I'm saying? Um, these messages, you know, from, from black men. All right. And this quick topic, bro, I just want to talk about, you know, how that what I came to realize, you know, as I've gotten older is that, you know, as a man, you know, you really only have as a productive man, you know, and this is, you know, for like I said, for all races of men, you really only have time for one woman. You know, you see all this polygyn polygamy stuff, polygyny stuff on the internet. You know what I'm saying? You see these, you know, hotel, hotel black folks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, bringing up polygyny all the time and what the ancestors used to do and all this primitive foolishness. But, you know, it's like when you really think about it and when you actually operate in life, you realize you don't really that on your average man, he doesn't have time to devote to more than one woman and don't have time and resource to devote to more than one woman and one family. So it's like you may see the dudes that you see and the women, the men and women that you see in these polygynous relationships, the ones, the only successful ones that you see, the rare occasions, those are very rare exceptions. And those people have um, an arrangement, you know what I'm saying? Basically, they, their mindset is not like the average person's mindset, believe you me. If one of those women was to, to, to peel off, you know what I'm saying, was to peel off and... um. You know, try to get with a with a, with an actual regular guy. I don't think that that would work out. That wouldn't work for her. That wouldn't work for for the guy. You know, she don't have like I mean, some and then in some of these relationships, you know, you have the chicks messing with you know each other, and you know what I'm saying why the dude is man. really that's that's not a that's not the same thing as a family unit. You know, that's basically, to me, that's basically like some swinger orgy type of crap. You know what I'm saying? That's some swinger orgy shit, you know. And it ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm not knocking at it, you know, if that's the arrangement you have, you know. But like I said, that's the very rare mindset for men and a very rare mindset for women to, you know, arrange that and to be able to work together, you know, and do it. And like I said, and at the end of the day, you know, that's not about, I don't think that that's, that relationship is just totally solely based off a um a love you know uh intimate uh, intimacy type of thing like it's uh you got you can't devote all of your time you know what i'm saying to to all those to to more to multiple women you know what i'm saying you have to designate it some people somebody not gonna get you that day you know what i'm saying or at that time somebody got away or y'all or they having sex together and if that's the case that's not polygyny like i said that's an orgy situation and hey that's a hugh hefner situation and, hey if the dude want you know he getting it popping like that there's nothing wrong with that but and then for the most part women don't have the mindset of sharing their man because that's at the end of the day that's what's happening man at the end of the day it's about sharing motherfuckers are sharing each other you know what i'm saying talking about sharing they men that's like i don't think that that's just like the mindset of of your average woman i don't think she's down with that you know and that's just not how 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 women operate for the most part you know, eventually somebody's going to have some resentment. Eventually it's going to be some, you know, some problems that arise. Unless it's just an arrangement, you know what I'm saying, to where, you know, it's a bit, it's business involved, you know. And, and I don't know, like I say, it's got to be, for the man though, like I say, it's it's got to be a very unique situation for him. Because you don't have the time to necessarily devote 
to more than one woman. You try and running a business and things like that. And you know, it's basically the kids is, you know what I'm saying, getting raised by the women. And you know, which you know should happen, of course, but they should do the majority of that. There's nothing wrong with that. But the guy doesn't have time to be present everywhere. You know, you're gonna eventually, you know, you neglecting somewhere in your life, you know what I'm saying, with these kids, with your kids or, you know, or with your wives, with your wives. It's just it's just not conducive. That shit is a bunch of fairy tale goose stuff. And at the end of the day, like me personally, like I say, I'm I mean, you wanna you wanna be fair, right? You want to be able to give your time, you know, as much as to your wife, as much as she giving her time to you. You know, you want to be able to give her, you know, um, a certain type of level of loyalty or security. You know what I'm saying? Or, or make her feel, you know what I'm saying? Make her feel, you know, special and unique in some way. And I think you just can't do that, you know what I'm saying, when you're trying to to have multiple women. You've seen that in the Bible. You seen like God has told you this. And for you nigga, like I said, that's why I don't rock with you hotel niggas. Y'all niggas can go over, you know what I'm saying, and stay in huts and do all that other dumb shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm down with the G O D, you feel me? Yes, we are the chosen people of the most high. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a bum for my peoples. But all that hotel extra ass bullshit and the ancestors and shit, that prim that monkey primitive shit, stop that, fam. You know what I'm saying? All that all that stuff is, you know, that's primitive stuff. You know what I mean? I'm not down, I ain't I'm not African, you know, I ain't I'm not from Africa. So I don't I'm not down with the, you know, the the ancestor religion, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and 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 all of that, I'm not down with acting like an animal. You you feel me? So, like I say, we, you know, God has told you this, that if you've seen all the men in the Bible, that the ones who had multiple wives, they had problems. They had problems out of them, yeah. You know, you even had to the point where they couldn't even be around each other, you know, where it was to the point where the man had to kick out one of, you know, where a man had to kick out one of his wives and one of, you know what I'm saying, and run her off because it's like it was just that much of a problem. You know, you seen Solomon. Solomon had, man, nigga, Solomon was gone in the brain. You know what I'm saying? He was running himself rampant, you know what I'm saying, with, with all of these women. At the end of the day, like I said, I don't have time to be dealing with, you know, the needs of more than one woman. You know what I'm saying? I could tell, you know, at the end of the day, if, if I'm going to be dealing with multiple women, though, I'm going to just keep it a buck. Then I'm just not going to be in no relationship. You feel me? Then we just going we just going to be kicking it. You know what I mean? And just going out there on some some AMS stuff, pumping, you know, dating or or some serial dater, some shit like that. If that's what you want to do, but if you're a person who committed in 2019, you know, in these modern times, it's not no more. It's not no enough time. You know, time is money. You know, a lot of you dudes don't make more than six. You know, not six figures like more than hundred thousand dollars. A lot of you dudes will never peak a hundred thousand dollars in your life. And if that's the case, you shouldn't, you you know, you definitely can't handle more than one woman, you know what I'm saying? And you definitely can't be having more than one family. You know how expensive kids are, you know what I'm saying? So you dudes, like I say, and and when you when you get you, when you find you somebody, you know what I'm saying, a, a chick who will put up with your shit, you know what I'm saying, for a lot of you dudes, because a lot of you dudes, you know, not really just, you know, just great catches, I say, you know, y'all need improvement in the man department. You know what I'm saying? And I get it because, you know, it's a lot of single mothers, you know, raising men out here, you know, trying or trying to, you know, filling in a position that they shouldn't have to, you know. So, but for you guys, man, it's like, yeah, when you find you a chick, you know, get to know her, man, you know what I'm saying? And quit looking at all these trivial things, you know, the same way you want her to do for you. You know what I mean? And then, you know, you will probably, you know, be better off. You won't be ending up in all these traps and, and messed up situations, man. But for real, when you see all these dudes like Polite, you know, and shout out to Brother Polite, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but, nothing but love. But when you see guys like him, that's a different situation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Polite is, is, is like under some, that's like some, to me, polygyny to me is a cult. Like polygyny is a cult. Like it's not, it's not to, about, 
you know, the traditional, you know, sense of love. And people, you know, I know people don't really believe in that, you know, anymore. Some people don't believe in that sense of love. You know what I'm saying? But look at when God created the world, man. A God put Adam and Eve here, right? Just follow me. He put Adam and Eve here and he left it alone. God didn't add to it. You know what I'm saying? He put Adam and Eve on earth, one man, one woman, and he left them alone. They were for each other. And that's how it's supposed to be in marriage. You know what I'm saying? And people have forgotten that because they have forgotten the most high. They've forgotten God. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they hearts is hard. And, and like I said, a lot of this stuff is about business. And a lot of this stuff is just about personal gain. Like, it's about what can you do for me? Like, you know, what can, what can I do for myself out of this? What can I get out of this? You know, let me see. Let me pinpoint. If it ain't that, then I don't even, you know. But like I said, God put Adam and Eve here together. And he didn't touch it until Eve bit the apple and, and uh, they fell. Into the fall, God, you know, none of this other stuff was happening. And it was Adam and Eve, it was man for woman. So we need to get back to that purity. If you want to talk about all this hotel stuff, we need to get back to purity, black man. You know, you what you doing, all that stuff, like, you know, I don't, I don't even know. Some of y'all dudes, I got to question a lot of y'all motives. That's why they should never legalize polygamy because it'll be chaos. You'll get broke-ass Sam down the block, you know what I'm saying, trying to trying to juggle two buttons three bum bitches you know what i'm saying and it's like it don't work that way that's not what it's about all right so like i said man in 2019 man for the you know this is this goes for most men you know what i mean on the earth polygyny you don't have time for you don't have time for more than one woman and more than one family it's your boy nico b i'm out of here